Okay. So before I let you go, I'll give you a list of things to think about. Okay. So for example, we've talked about human capital and training. So one question you might ask is work is learning by working on the job cheaper than formal schooling? So I'm so tempted to start answering this question. <laughs> That's the problem, right? You know, how do you think about it? Right? Well, think about what's the cost, what's the benefits, what do you mean by cheaper, those kinds of things. All right. What is the difference between for prohibiting marijuana sales and subjecting its sales to a high tax? It's a very important question from the policy point of view, particularly in a world where we seem to be moving at least from a world where marijuana use was pretty much prohibited everywhere to now it's being viewed as permitted, although typically taxed at a non-trivial rate, like many commodities like cigarettes and alcohol have been for quite a while. Question number three, a great many manufacturers use machines and labor in fixed proportions. Does that mean that the wage rate has little effect on the amount of labor used in manufacturing? Kind of answered that a little bit, at least partially. But even more importantly, we need to think about what sigma means and where sigma comes from. We actually answered that too. Although I'm not going to tell you where. The answer is on the board. We discussed the answer. See, that's the thing. We answered all these questions. You just you have to figure out how. And so far, there's not a question I don't think we've answered yet, right? I think every answer has been covered. All right. Does availability of ebooks reduce the sale of physical books? <laughs> we've pretty much answered that one too, but how, you know, that's a great thing. You already have the answer, but you don't know it. That's the really the great thing. All right. Anyway. <laughs> when housing prices are above their long run values and continue to rise, is that good evidence that home buyers or builders have unrealistic expectations about the future? I don't think we've completely answered that one, although some of what we talked about is very important for thinking about the last part of that sentence. Could a billion dollars in federal subsidies to farmers increase farm incomes by more than a billion? That one, you even, if you were listening, know we answered. The other ones we pretty much answered too. It's just harder to find the answers than what we discussed. But go back over to Tate. Here's what you should do. You should find the answers independently, either by going through the rest of the course or just figuring them out for yourself. Then go back and watch the tape and see how many of those answers you can find in what we did already. If you can find them in what we did already, then you really understand your answers. I think that's a fair way to think about it. And you're on your way to being a price theorist. All right, thank you very much.